The solar constant, a measure of flux density, is the conventional name for the mean solar electromagnetic radiation per unit area that would be incident on a plane perpendicular to the rays, at a distance of one astronomical unit from the Sun. The solar constant includes all types of solar radiation, not just the visible light. It is measured by satellite as being 1.361 kW per square meter at solar minimum and approximately 0.1% greater at solar maximum. The solar constant is not a physical constant in the modern CODATA scientific sense, it varies in value and has been called the misconception. It has been shown to vary historically in the past 400 years over a range of less than 0.2%. Calculation Solar irradiance is measured by satellite above Earth's atmosphere, and is then adjusted using the inverse square law to infer the magnitude of solar irradiance at one astronomical unit to evaluate the solar constant. The approximate average value cited, 1.3608 plus or minus 0.0005 kilowatts per square meter, which is 81.65 kilojoules per square meter per minute, is equivalent to approximately 1.951 calories per minute per square centimeter, or 1.951 langleys per minute. Solar output is nearly, but not quite, constant. Variations in total solar irradiance were small and difficult to detect accurately with technology available before the satellite era. Total solar output is now measured as varying by approximately 0.1%. See solar variation for details. Historical measurements in 1838, Claude Poilet made the first estimate of the solar constant. Using a very simple pier heliometer he developed, he obtained a value of 1.228 kW per square meter, close to the current estimate. In 1875, Jules Weil resumed the work of Poilet and offered a somewhat larger estimate of 1.7 kW per square meter based, in part, on a celebrated measurement that he made from Mont Blanc in France. In 1884, Samuel Pierpont Langley attempted to estimate the solar constant from Mount Whitney in California. By taking readings at different times of day, he tried to correct for effects due to atmospheric absorption. However, the final value he proposed, 2.903 kW per square meter, was much too large. Between 1902 and 1957, measurements by Charles Greeley Abbott and others at various high-altitude sites found values between 1.322 and 1.465 kW per square meter. Abbott showed that one of Langley's corrections was erroneously applied. Abbott's results varied between 1.89 and 2.22 calories, a variation that appeared to be due to the Sun and not the Earth's atmosphere. In 1954 the solar constant was evaluated as 2.00 cal per minute, square cm plus or minus 2%. Current results are about 2.5% lower. Relationship to other measurements Solar irradiance The actual direct solar irradiance at the top of the atmosphere fluctuates by about 6.9% during a year due to the Earth's varying distance from the Sun, and typically by much less than 0.1% from day to day. Thus, for the whole Earth, the power is 1.730 times 1017 W, plus or minus 2 W per square meter. The solar constant does not remain constant over long periods of time, but over a year the solar constant varies much less than the solar irradiance measured at the top of the atmosphere. This is because the solar constant is evaluated at a fixed distance of one astronomical unit while the solar irradiance will be affected by the ellipticity of the Earth's orbit. The Earth receives a total amount of radiation determined by its cross-section. But as it rotates this energy is distributed across the entire surface area, hence the average incoming solar radiation, taking into account the angle at which the rays strike and that at any one moment half the planet does not receive any solar radiation, is one-fourth the solar constant. 
the amount reaching the Earth's surface is further reduced by atmospheric attenuation, which varies. At any given moment, the amount of solar radiation received at a location on the Earth's surface depends on the state of the atmosphere, the location's latitude, and the time of day. Apparent magnitude The solar constant includes all wavelengths of solar electromagnetic radiation, not just the visible light. It is positively correlated with the apparent magnitude of the Sun which is minus 26.8. The solar constant and the magnitude of the Sun are two methods of describing the apparent brightness of the Sun. Though the magnitude is based on the Sun's visual output only, the Sun's total radiation the angular diameter of the Earth as seen from the Sun is approximately 1 11,700th radians, meaning the solid angle of the Earth as seen from the Sun is approximately 1 175 millionth of a steradian. Thus the Sun emits about 2.2 billion times the amount of radiation that is caught by Earth, in other words about 3.86 times 1026 watts. Past variations in solar irradiance Space-based observations of solar irradiance started in 1978. These measurements show that the solar constant is not constant. It varies with the 11-year sunspot solar cycle. When going further back in time, one has to rely on irradiance reconstructions using sunspots for the past 400 years or cosmogenic radionuclides for going back 10,000 years. Such reconstructions show that solar irradiance varies with distinct periodicities. These cycles are 11 years, 88 years, 208 years and 1,000 years.